Let's rise up and receive God's servant, Pastor Paul Olashuri, as a minister to us. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want us to just appreciate God this morning and just um, thank him for the privilege he has given to you to be here. And then I want you to look to him and thank him for every big and small thing he has done for you in the past one week. In the past one week, what has he done? Giving thanks. Give him thanks. What has he done for you? Did he protect you, provided for you, helped you? Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my I want to give you one more minute. Think of what he has done and mention them. Don't just say thank you. Mention specific things. God wants to hear it from your mouth. He wants to hear you say thank you for life. Thank you for the privilege to meet that person, to talk to that one, to have this open door, to have this blessing, to have this opportunity. Be grateful, be thankful because it's the right spirit to have to attract miracles all around your life. Father, I thank you for everything you have been and you have done in the past one week. Thank you for provision. Thank you for help. Thank you for revelation. Thank you for insight. Thank you for your visitations. Thank you for the opportunity to have conversations with you. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for all the troubles you delivered us from. I give you praise. I give you honor. I exalt you. Thank you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. We worship you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, um, one of the reasons why we gather is to legislate or rather to issue decrees. Why? Because we are God's Ecclesia. Say, I'm God's Ecclesia. I'm part of God's Ecclesia. Yes. The word Ecclesia means um, the people that gather from a particular region that are called by the authorities to issue what should be and what should not be in a particular place. And as God's Ecclesia, we have that job, that responsibility. And Jesus now said, I will build my ecclesia, which you, the English word is church. But you see, there, there's so much confusion because we have, they have moved our minds to believe that church is this building. Then at some point we started saying that church is us, which is okay. But even if church is us, what is the function of this us? Our first function all right, as church is to disallow and allow. He said, I'll give to you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you disallow on earth, 
shall be disallowed in heaven. Whatever you allow on earth shall be allowed in heaven. And the same goes even for your own life. It is what you allow that will be. If you disallow it, it won't be. God has given you that authority, the keys. So let's say these words together. Let's say in the name of Jesus, as God's ecclesia in this city, in this nation, and in this region, we disallow Satan and all his host. We disallow their agendas and plans. In the name of Jesus, we disallow the hardening of people's heart against the gospel and the kingdom of God. We disallow the blindfolding of men and women, young and old, from seeing the light of the gospel. We disallow it in the name of Jesus. In this nation, we disallow terrorism. We disallow banditry. We disallow kidnapping. We declare in the name of Jesus. Those who are exercising it, confusion is in their camp. They are against one another. They are caught and judged. In the name of Jesus, we disallow ritual killing in this nation. In the name of Jesus, all the powers of darkness that are being used to perpetrate all these evils, we command those powers ceased and and destroyed in the name of Jesus they do not walk anymore in the name of Jesus we disallow ascendance of people who destroy the nation to places of authority in the nation we disallow it in the name of Jesus we allow the kingdom of God in this nation this city and this region we allow the will of God. We allow the counsel of God. We allow salvation of souls. We allow a coming into intimacy with God. We allow the spread of the gospel. We allow the spread of the message of intimacy. In the name of Jesus, we allow miracles, signs and wonders, the acts of God done everywhere. In the name of Jesus, pray in the Holy Ghost on that. Aka Baba Skotodida, Arika Baba Skofia Meska Danda, Arika Babeka Toshko Fia Peska Tadiata Tabane, Arika da Baba Sofia Peska Toriata Kalia Satama, Arika da Baba Kadovra Bian Peska Dosha Sian Santa, Arika da Babi Kadovra Bokosh Kapeta Tadiaba, Ariana Mokotovre Bia Pepe Kadovre Me, Azasa Teascopa Bigato. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now you're going to pray and speak for yourself and for us as a church. All right? Can you say in the name of Jesus, as God's ecclesia in this place, I declare for this church and for my life, my family, and all connected to me, I declare in the name of Jesus. I disallow Satan and all his plans concerning us frustrated in the name of Jesus I disallow all the agendas I declare frustrated and destroyed in the name of Jesus I disallow death around me I disallow poverty I disallow sickness I disallow frustration I disallow failure I disallow retrogression. I disallow stagnation. In the name of Jesus, I allow the kingdom of God in our lives. I allow the will of God. I allow the ministry of angels. I allow growth in intimacy. I allow increase, expansion, breaking forth on the right and on the left. I allow advancement going forward, going forward, going higher. I allow it in the name of Jesus. Now open your own mouth and declare the things you don't want in your life. Disallow it now. The things you want, allow it. It's your authority as God's ecclesia. Open your mouth and declare. I disallow this order. I disallow mediocrity. I disallow confusion. I disallow hell. 
I disallow darkness. I disallow plagues. I disallow curses. In the name of Jesus, I allow blessings. I allow abundance. I allow favor. I allow honor. I allow integrity. I allow growth and progress. In the name of Jesus, I allow growth of this church. Growth of this ministry. Growth in the life of everyone. I allow increase. I allow prosperity. I allow health. I disallow sickness. I disallow affliction. In the name of Jesus. I disallow addiction. I disallow oppression. In the name of Jesus. Disallow what you don't want. In the name of Jesus. I join my faith with you. Whatever you don't want in your life. I disallow it with you. In the name of Jesus. I disallow pain. I disallow darkness. I disallow confusion. I disallow resistance. I disallow oppression. In the name of Jesus. I disallow retrogression. I disallow everything that is rising against you. In your place of work. I disallow them all. I disallow their operations. In the name of Jesus. I allow progress in your life. I allow increase in your life. I allow abundance in your life. In the name of Jesus. I allow just a pepicatofia, the sess a pepicatoria, a rap a picatofiamba satadaya. In Jesus' mighty name, the repetitions of evil are disallowed. In the name of Jesus Christ, that sickness that is coming and going, we disallow it. In the name of Jesus Christ. That feeling of that fainting feeling that comes every now and then, I disallow it in the name of Jesus Christ. It stops now in the name of Jesus Christ. I disallow empty pockets in the name of Jesus. Your pockets shall no more be empty in the name of Jesus. We bind the devourer. We bind the devourer. We bind the thief in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. What do you want God to do for you this week? ask of him the bible says you'll ask and you will receive jesus said ask that he will give you what you need give us this day our daily bread means give me what i need then he says you also ask that you'll be delivered from temptations ask for mercy deliver from temptation ask for protection Father, we lift, put your hands into all these requests also. The ones that are written, the ones that your children are raising before you. If you are praying that God will make certain people that you are having some transactions with to agree either with you or to agree on the terms of the uh, negotiation, please come and shake my hands. You have that agreement in the name of Jesus. Ask God for what you want and pray in the Holy Ghost. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive. Receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive. Yes, receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive. Yes, receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. Arika Babaska. Receive in the name of Jesus. Sakabaya. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive. 
receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive. It is yours. 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 If you have a problem with your, your, your teeth, put your hands on your jaw and receive healing there. I'm going to pray. You can also touch anywhere you want healing right now. Let's pray. Let's ask our Father. Is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth us. If you have a problem with your teeth, just put your hands on your jaws. Because God is touching that. And if you need healing in any part of your body, just touch that part. Thank you, Jesus. We rebuke every sickness. Satan, pack your load and go. These bodies are the temples of God. And the Spirit of God dwells in our bodies. So we command you, foul demon of sickness and affliction, leave in the name of Jesus. And Father, we declare the establishment of health for every single person. Receive healing in those teeth. Receive healing in that chest. Receive healing everywhere in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe it with all your heart. It is done. Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand and thank you one more time. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship as I bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship as I bless your holy name for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you Jesus there is no one else like you you are great for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you 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 there is no You understand for your mother this morning your heart is praying for your mom please come to the front god is touching this mothers right now and saying stretch your hand towards these people and pray that the lord will some mothers need healing some mothers there's somebody your mother is having this strong persecution some lies are spreading concerning her we cast down those evil lies. We arrest those evil words. We cast down those imaginations against them. In the name of Jesus. You see, God is telling me to tell you 
everyone in the family should not look at the people who are spreading the lies what the enemy wants is a negative energy towards her because he wants to strike her with sickness and we raise the standard of the spirit against that devil in the name of jesus we raise the standard of the spirit against all those lies we raise the standard of the spirit against all the negative energy going towards that mama now in the name of jesus we rebuke you satan satan pack your load and go i bind you in the name of jesus we surround that mama with the blood of the lamb in the name of jesus receive something for your mom right now please receive something for her receive healing for her if she needs healing receive deliverance for her if she needs deliverance she needs to know the lord receive salvation for her right now because it's available hallelujah that mama that have been worrying the lord has arrested the spirit of worry in the name of jesus peace to our heart peace to our soul in the name of jesus and mama that is that is mourning the lord upholds her with his right hand of righteousness fills her with newness of life hope in the name of Jesus. While God is strengthening mommy. Yeah. Says that strongly. Ria da basko tota lele skofiambe de daia. Rito farata skatushka baia. Receive for your mom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You can go back to your seat. Someone, there's something you have been working on and they have already sh scheduled to give it to somebody else we're taking it back for you please come we're taking it back for you we're taking it back for you something you've been working on your pursuit but they have already now scheduled to give it to somebody else no no stretch your hand towards them saints every blessing that is of god that is due you will redeem it by the blood now in the name of jesus satan take your hands off now in the name of jesus take your hands off the other part we cast down those imaginations we cast down those thoughts that are contrary to you we cast it down we cast it down we arrest that situation and we command all the progression they are working on frustrated in the name of jesus there's an overturn until they give it to you in the name of Jesus. Shake my hands. It's yours. It's yours. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles, there is nothing that's impossible. Now we're standing here only because you made you move mountains, you cause worlds to fall with your power. You perform miracles, you perform miracles. There is nothing. There is nothing. That's impossible. That's impossible. Now we're standing. Now we're standing here. Only because you, you move mountains. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing. There is nothing. 
say thank you for your blessings lift up your hands one more time and thank him for answering your prayers that you are prayed here in his house this morning just thank him because he's a God that answers prayers father we thank you thank you because you are the God that answers prayers we worship you in Jesus mighty name we have worshiped Hallelujah. Put your hands together and let's have our seats. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, speak to us. Let your word enter into our lives and establish your intent and your counsel in this month of April and beyond. We worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have had an expectation for a long time, if there's something you have believed God for, you've trusted God for, you've um, asked God, you know, to provide and supply for you, you know, this is the month of satisfaction. He will satisfy you in the name of Jesus. All right? He's satisfying you this month. In the book of Psalm 90, Psalm 90 verse um, 14, Psalm 90 verse 14, he said, Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy. This month, the Lord is satisfying you with his mercy. And when God satisfies you with his mercy, all things are possible. Because mercy, you know, is one of the strongest revelation you need to have as a Christian because that's the that's the strongest revelation of the Jews the mercy of God David one of the favorite of God in fact God himself said I have found David the son of Jesse a man after my own heart that will carry out my counsel God was so excited to find David <laughs> hallelujah and one of the covenant that God gave David is the covenant of mercy he said my sure mercy will I not withhold from him David's mercy is not just ordinary mercy it's called sure mercies and guess what Jesus transferred that covenant to us say I have sure mercies I have sure mercies and um the new covenant makes us to understand that if you are born again, you have become a vessel of God's mercy. As soon as you give your life to Christ, you become a vessel of God's mercy. Because God said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I love compassion on whom I love compassion. Ah, that's a serious matter. The mercy of God will not be lacking in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, let, let, let's read some scriptures about this mercy. Psalm 89. Psalm 89. This is um, God speaking about David. From verse 20, he said, I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established and my arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exert upon him. Why? He has mercy. Today I declare, the enemy shall not exert upon you. 
because you have mercy not because you are good not because you have prayed for two hours or three hours now it's good to pray for three hours it's good to have fervent prayer the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man have been led much all right but he's saying that i'm doing this because i've chosen to show you mercy say i'm a vessel of mercy he will satisfy you with mercy in the name of jesus christ so this man that is satisfied with mercy the bible said the enemy shall not exact upon him say there's no exertion of the enemy on my life this month and beyond in the name of jesus some people cannot say it i said there is no exertion of the enemy on my life this month and beyond in the name of jesus why because you are a vessel of mercy god has chosen to show you mercy hallelujah and the son of wickedness shall not afflict him declare with me say the son of wickedness cannot afflict me say with confidence the son of wickedness cannot afflict me i am a vessel of mercy verse 23 he said i will beat down his foes before his face anybody as against you into is in trouble you understand you can't fight the one that god has showed mercy say i'm a vessel of mercy nobody can fight me they'll be beaten down in the name of jesus why because you're a vessel of mercy i believe it with all my heart it's difficult to fight me you can't fight me i fight nobody but don't bring fight to me because if you bring, bring, bring fight to me that's the end the person has written his will he said pastor is it so it's true and i've seen it in different ways All right, not because ah man of God so holy and powerful but because I'm just a vessel of mercy say I'm a vessel of mercy say I think say it boldly I'm a vessel of mercy maybe some people are doubting it pause pause in that Psalm 89 jump to um, Romans in chapter 9 maybe you are you are saying well vessel of mercy how How he chose you. Say, I'm chosen. First Peter 2 7. We are a chosen, so is it 2 9? 2 9. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Chosen. Say, I'm chosen. We did a series last month. If you are not on PhD, that is one series I need you to go and check. We did a series on chosen. He chose you not because you are good. what's your name again Enoch that, that's why I was excited to know it again because I remember it was one fantastic name <laughs> Enoch he chose you not because you were good he didn't choose you because of your father he didn't choose you because you walked right he didn't choose you because you are so gifted he chose you because you are his choice He chose you because you are his choice you didn't need to do anything to be chosen you didn't need to fast to be chosen he chose you you just said that this is my choice all right while he looked at you and said this is my choice what's your name brother Emmanuel this is my choice Miriam, he said, this is my choice. Why are you choosing her? She's just my choice. You can't fight that. Say, I'm chosen. Say it again. Say, I'm chosen. Then the ones he chose, he chose them to be his beloved. The one he chooses to lavish love on. People are saying, why are you loving him so much? He hasn't done anything. 
he did, he's not even very consistent. He said, I just, I have just chosen to love this one. He chose you. He chose you. You didn't choose. It wasn't you. It has nothing to do with you. That's why God said that you tell, I mean, I was repeating it all through the, the series on that. I mean, I think it was a, maybe the series on Tuesday of last month. Now, and, and God said, keep emphasizing it. There is nothing you need to do to keep yourself being chosen. Once he has chosen you, it's permanent. It's permanent. He doesn't change his mind. Once he chooses you, that's it. He chose you. Now, you will see the power of choice now. It looks unfair, but listen. <laughs> Look at the power of choice. God's choice. Verse 11 of Romans 9. For the children being yet, sorry, be not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. So it wasn't because they were good, neither was it because it was evil. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election. Election, you know, election in God is not uh, everybody go and vote. Who do you like? No, 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 no. Election is God. Is God deciding this is my choice. And whatever his choice is, you have to agree. You can't fight him. That the purpose of God according to election might stand not of works. So it has nothing to do with what you did. But of him that calleth of God is, is totally dependent on God. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. Verse 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. And then Paul said, I know that you think us will now begin to ask questions. So let me help you. Verse 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness in God? God forbid. For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I choose to show mercy. That's the right way. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. He says, my choice. Election. Jesus proved it to us in another way. In the morning, this man went and said, I need workers on my farm. And these guys volunteered. He said, okay, I'll pay you one dollar each. They said, fine. Or let's say, hundred dollars each. They said, fine. So he took them to his farm at 6 a.m. in the morning. And then said, this is the farm. Help me work on it. And they started working. At 12 noon, he went to check his mother. Mama, what's happening? I'm seeing some guys by your house. What's going on? Ah, they are looking for work. Oh. Ah, guys, you are looking for work? Yes. Uh, my farm is on that third street. Yeah, that. Uh, um, go there. Go and walk. 12 noon. At 3 p.m., he went to check his wife. Madam, what's going on? Madam said, ah, come on, eat, come on, eat. your lunch is ready. Okay, let me eat. But I saw some people in front of the house. What are they doing? Ah, they are looking for work. He said, guys, you are looking for work. Ah, the, the, when you get to her, uh, uh, you, mm, you got in it. Go and work there. They all went there. Three o'clock. Then on his way to go and check all his workers and pay them at five o'clock. He saw some guys on the road at the bus stop. He said, ah, what are you all doing here? He said, we, are, we have been looking for work all day. Nobody employed us. Ah, So no food for you at the end of today? They said, no food, sir. Unless you can help us, sir. He said, okay, I will help you. Follow me. Five o'clock. He said, this is my farm. Join the workers. And they walked. Then when they finished, he said, uh, five o'clock people come. Take hundred dollars. Three o'clock people come. Take hundred dollars. Twelve o'clock people come. Take hundred dollars. Six a.m. people, your hundred dollars. Six a.m. people say, "Ah, okay, no fear now. Waiting, we will work from morning till now. You come pay us hundred dollars. The man will work for one hour. You pay hundred dollars also." He said, "I beg. When we agreed, 
did we not negotiate? And we know, what did you agree on? $100. I have paid you your money. I beg go. I have right to do with my money whatever I like. To pay as I want. That's election. He chose you. And nobody can query it. Are you chosen? Say I'm chosen. Say I'm chosen. I'm chosen. I'm chosen. And guess what? You see, even if you joined, if you came at the 6 a.m., he's going to pay you better because you are the one he has chosen to show love. But with this man joined us at 6 a.m., you're paying him more. I say it's my money. I can do with it as I like. As I like. I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. You can't query it. This month, the Lord will satisfy you with mercy in the name of Jesus. And then he went on and said this concerning us. Verse 22 and 23. He said, what if God, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with long suffering the vessels of wrath, fitted to destruction, that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy. See, I'm a vessel of mercy. Now, so that we are sure who he's talking about. <laughs> that he might make known his glory, the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Verse 24, now define who are the vessels of mercy. Even us, whom he has what? Called. Not only of what? Jews, but also of who? Gentiles. Say, I'm a vessel of mercy. Say boldly, I'm a vessel of mercy. Mercy follows me all my life. Mercy follows me all my days. I am a vessel of God's mercy. I am the one he has chosen to love. I am the one he has chosen to lift. I'm the one he has chosen to help. I'm the one that he has chosen to make great. I am a vessel of mercy. That should be your song and your confession this month. I'm a vessel of mercy. God chose me. You can't query it. God chose me. You can't question it. Hallelujah. You are a vessel of his mercy. Back to Psalm 89. Psalm 89. vessel of mercy so he said I will beat down his foes before his face your foes are beaten down before you in the name of Jesus he said anyone that I hate you he will plague them both spirit and humans it doesn't matter who they are he said but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him See, his faithfulness is with me Say it out, please. I'm not just making you to say it for saying sake. I'm, I'm, we are, this, is a, this is a spiritual, um, um, if it's in the dark world, we'll call it ritual. So what we are doing is like a ritual. So that I'm making you to say something, I'm not just trying to trouble your mouth. Since I'm the preacher, I should talk it now. <laughs> but I'm making you say because we are making some things to happen. Say the faithfulness of God is with me. The mercies of God are with me. He said, In my name shall his own be exalted. Your own shall be exalted this month in the name of Jesus. What's your own? Your own is your gift. Your own is your skill. Your own is your talent. Your own is the glory of God upon your life. It is exalted this month in the name of Jesus Christ. It's exalted this month. He said, I will set his hand also in the sea. That's international connections. And his right hand in the river, in the rivers. That's local authority, local dominion. He shall cry unto me, Thou art my father, my God, the rock of my salvation. Also, I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. You shall be higher in the name of Jesus than the kings of the earth. You shall be higher. You shall go higher and higher and higher and higher. You are unstoppable, 
unbeatable in the name of Jesus. You cannot be stopped in the name of Jesus. Your fire cannot be quenched. Your zeal cannot be quenched. In the name of Jesus, you go higher. In the name of Jesus. So he said, My mercy will I keep for him for how long? Forever. Say, I have his mercy. Forever. I am a vessel of the mercy of God. And then he said, My covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever and his throne as the days of heaven. So your children, your children's children's children will always be great. And if his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgment, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, I'll visit them with I'll visit their transgression with rod and the, their iniquities with stripes. You see, this is this is mercy. I'll read it again. If his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments. Then I will visit their transgression with what? Rod. And their iniquity with what? Stripes. Meaning I will discipline them myself. I'm not going to throw them to the devil. That's why when they brought Balaam, I said, come and curse these people for me. Balaam looked and said, hey, hey, I see, I see the glory. I see the glory upon Israel. Israel looks like a sheep that is fresh, well fed, taken care of. Oh, I see, I see that the Lord has not beheld iniquity in them. And they were sinning under it. Too. Under the covering, they were sinning. God was disciplined there, but the devil could not see the sin so that he can come in. Ah, you will never lack mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Never, never. He said, the shout of the king is in their midst. So when somebody is coming and you are sleeping gently, a voice comes from the inside. Who are thou? What are you seeking? And you are sleeping like a sheep inside. Why? The shout of the king is all around you. In Yoruba, we call it the Arujeje. The dreadful one. The dreaded one. The shout of the king. Hallelujah. So he said, he said, it doesn't matter how it. I'll discipline them myself. Verse 33 is where I'm going. Nevertheless, my loving kindness will I not utterly take away from him, nor suffer my faithfulness to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Once I have sworn by my holiness that I will not lie to David. <laughs> See, I'm a vessel of mercy. I have the sure mercies of David in the name of Jesus. I have the sure mercies of David in the name of Jesus. Say, this month, I am satisfied with the mercy of God. In the name of Jesus, let's declare the month open. The communion is not just a physical thing. That's why, listen, in the days of Apostle Paul, Paul was writing to the Corinthians. Because really in those days when they take the Lord's Supper, it's actually a dinner. It's not like we do it in church today. This one is maestri supper do you understand the real supper is dinner we come to church food is served drinks are served so we break the bread and we eat together so in the church in corinth some guys will come to church early and say let's start this thing or more let's start let's start let's start before these other people come so they will start eating they will drink 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 uh god said this is not the reason why I call for this now. So Paul said, don't you have food in your house to eat? Don't you have drink in your house to drink? Why are you coming to defile the house of God by, by, by over drinking and overeating? 
and then you are not even waiting for others so what happened to them the bible said some were sick some were even dead why because this thing is not just bread and uh, something just eat quick and uh, yeah you finish come no it's a ritual what we are partaking of is the blood of jesus that content in that cup the moment i bless it now becomes the blood of jesus the moment i bless the wafer becomes the body of jesus one time we were breaking bread around the dining table in my dad's house and we were a couple of us and i said to them this is no more bread this is the body of jesus and i prayed over it i blessed the cup and then we served it and then we finished praying and somebody said ah, that bread was like meat in my mouth ah, another person said ah, i thought i was the only one so you you felt this that everybody started talking they felt like meat in their mouth i said god was just trying to tell you even though his bread is the body of jesus you are eating are you get what i'm saying and uh, if they now come and tell you that one witch drinks blood tell that witch i drink a higher blood if you try you fi you fire for life you born for eternity <laughs> try it and you go which what you are drinking human blood animal blood i'm drinking the blood of god hello that's what it is that's what it is and the blood you drink determines how powerful you are it's not a physical thing it's a spiritual thing because blood is spiritual it's not just physical it came from the breath of god god breathed into the nostrils of man and blood started running in his body and soul and spirit came into his body do you understand so it's a spiritual thing that's why he said i have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your soul but now the blood we are drinking is the blood of god and you know how powerful that blood is i always say it the blood of you see when they need small power they kill chicken when they need more power they kill goat when they need more power they kill cow when they need more power they kill human when they need more power they look for special human beings innocent children virgin uh, abino all kind of strength they need more power are you getting what i'm saying all that power eh, does not last that blood if you put it down it can't cleanse that man it can't cleanse the man the sin of the man will be exposed after one year but one blood covered all the sins of seven billion people now and then the others that have lived covered it and wiped it out for all eternity not for one year for all eternity it can never be seen again if you die without Christ you pay for all your sins the sin of Adam the sin of your forefather and your own sin you pay for all eternity you can't finish paying it you'll be in hell fire sorry not hell fire the lake of fire for all eternity all eternity Jesus cleared the sin of seven billion people plus the rest before us he cleared it in three days that blood is powerful the one that my own people cannot finish eternity I'm still there burning he carried my own and not just my own seven billion others plus the ones that have lived before us the billions have lived and then in three days he cleared it that blood is powerful that blood is powerful so when i drink it i should believe i've drank something but if you think it's just fruit juice it will be fruit juice for you <laughs> but with me when i drink it it's not fruit juice we we're having a crossover service in Ibadan many years ago and some bad boys wanted to tempt god's power so they were throwing knockout into the service and we just finished drinking the blood i look at the first one that i said you can't and then you just say, oh you say okay sometimes the product is not good so it can happen then the next one i said you can't dare it Phew. the next one Phew. the next one Phew. the people that were throwing it came to church <laughs> because there's power in the blood I was doing evening service in Ibadan many years ago. I was dead tired. I was just doing that service as an obligation. <laughs> I just came there.
to just do that because that's how for people who work during the day who work in morning so we have the evening service for them so and there were just a couple of them maybe about six or eight of them and i just came i just went through everything i'd gone through in the morning and then i said okay we are taking the communion and i took the body i broke it i i gave them and they all ate but i said i said when you eat this and drink it the healing power that flowed in the body of Jesus, that the woman with the issue of blood touch will also flow in your body. Believe it. I tell you, saints, I didn't believe what I said. Me, pastor, I said it, but I didn't believe what I said. But I said it. But somebody believed. Somebody believed. He came into church limping like this. Why? One, short, one leg was shorter than the other. When he took the communion, the leg grew on his seat. He got up, he said, pastor, my legs are a balance. I said, what do you mean? I saw you leaping coming. He said, yes. The guy is a pastor today. The leg grew. I didn't believe what I said. <laughs> but he believed. Only believe. All things are possible. If you believe in the blood of Jesus, it is. And then it's powerful. When you drink it, you partake of his life. You partake of who he is. Father, we ask that you bless these communion emblems. We receive them as the body and the blood of Jesus. The wafer is the body of Jesus now. The content in the cup is the blood of Jesus for us. As we drink it, we receive cleansing. We receive purification. We receive protection. We receive covering. And because there's life in this blood, we draw that life. We receive that strength. We receive that power. We receive that anointing. And we receive that covering in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We bless your holy name. All right, they are going to serve you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is power mighty in the blood. I don't know how we form the English of that song. Because the English doesn't look right. There is power mighty. I thought it's supposed to be there's power and might. But we sing it as power and mighty. So we keep singing it that way since it sounds weird that way. <laughs> Have you ever thought about it? There is power mighty in the blood. It's supposed to be there is power and might. Have you? There's mighty power. There is mighty power in the blood. That's where it's supposed to go now. But we sing that there is power mighty in the blue now that way has power <laughs> so sing it forget the English <laughs> in the blood there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ there is power mighty in the blood in the blood there is power Power mighty in the blood. In the blood there is power mighty in the blood. Oh, in the blood there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Two more times, there is power mighty. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood, there is power mighty in the blood. In the blood, there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty. In the oh, in the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood, in the blood, there is power and might. In the blood, in the blood, in the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power and might. Plead the blood, the blood, 
of Jesus I plead the blood yes the blood see the blood walking for you cleansing you protecting you supplying you power I plead I plead the blood oh the blood of Jesus I plead I plead the blood the blood I plead I plead I plead the blood the blood I plead the blood I plead the blood the blood I plead I plead the blood the blood what time I plead I plead the blood the blood Thank you because your blood is sufficient for us. Sufficient for us. Sufficient for us. If you are here this morning and you are not yet a child of God, then you need to become one before you can partake of his blood and his body. If you are backslidden, maybe you've gone to be doing your own stuff that you know is not God's will and you want to come back home you need to do that also quickly so if you are in any of those two categories put your right hand on your chest say this simple prayer after me before we take the communion say father have mercy on me I receive forgiveness I believe Jesus died for my sins I was raised from the dead for my salvation today I declare him Savior and Lord in my life in Jesus name Amen if you said that prayer sincerely you are born into the family of God and if you are backsliding you are restored he has forgiven all the sins no more would they be remembered take the wafer out take the wafer out Say, Father, by this body of Jesus, I step into the month of April and I step into the atmosphere, the realms, and season of satisfaction in you by your mercy in the name of Jesus. So as I break this body, I receive access not only to April but to that realm that atmosphere that place called satisfaction in April and beyond in Jesus name all right break the body and partake say father by the blood redemption was given me by the blood this realm of satisfaction was paid for fully paid for by the blood mercy was made available for me by the blood you chose me as your vessel of mercy by the blood you sanctified me 
So I declare that by the blood I am cleansed, purified. I'm covered, secured. I'm empowered because this is your life and I partake of it. I run in April, triumphing, victorious. I soar with wings as eagles. I break through for your armor has gone ahead of me. I have conquest. I've conquered territories, new places, new realms. In the name of Jesus, I drink of the blood of Jesus. And by the blood, I possess my possession. Satisfaction. By your mercy, this April and beyond. In Jesus' name. All right, drink. Put your finger in the cup. So that you can touch some little that still is there. Touch your forehead and say in the name of Jesus, I bear on me now the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Son of God. Therefore, let no devil, let no human, let no force, let no creation trouble me, for I'm covered. I and my household, I and my family, I and all connected to me are covered in the blood in the name of Jesus. We are safe in Jesus' name. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. In Jesus name. Lift up your hands. I speak as his priest over the house. And I declare in the name of Jesus. Everybody may enter an April that is full of trouble. Some people may enter the, an April that is full of frustration. Others may enter an April that takes away from them. But you have entered an April of satisfaction. An April where you are showed more mercy in the name of Jesus. An April where you are satisfied with mercy in the name of Jesus. An April where that outstanding thing you've been longing and trusting for, you are satisfied in in the name of Jesus. That's the April you have entered. An April that is safe. An April that is secure. An April that is prosperous. An April that is triumphant for you. In the name of Jesus. That's the one you entered. In Jesus mighty name give thanks unto God right now just thank him I have entered the right April I didn't enter the wrong one I didn't enter April full I enter April that is wise I enter April that is full of opportunity open your mouth and say it say your own I've entered April that is full of opportunities I've entered April that is full of progress I've entered April that is full of abundance I've entered April that is full of grace I've entered April that has brought lifting for me. I've entered April that is beautiful, gracious. I've entered April that is awesome. 